Hello gorgeous, welcome to my January favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time, so I thought it is about time to do it. What I'm gonna do is my top 10 favorite products that I have been loving in January, and I'm gonna just jump right in. So if you wanna see what those favorites are, keep on watching. Okay, first up, we are gonna talk about some highlight. Um, I love highlight. Duh, right? You're like, duh. I love highlight so much. In fact, I feel like I am naked without it anymore. It has become that much of a staple for me. It's like my bra and then my highlight. Um, so if you watched my last video, which was my current winter foundation routine, then you saw this little guy right here that I am just obsessed with. It is from the Balm Cosmetics. It's the Mary Luminizer. I have the trio here with the Cindy Luminizer and the Betty Luminizer. Let's just leave these two off. I enjoy them, but not as much as this powerhouse right here. This highlighter is basically on steroids. That's the only way that I know how to say it. It's amazing. The payoff for the pigment is insane. Um, I have it on right now. I don't know how well you're going to be able to pick up that highlight um, in the camera, but it's just so, I'm going to swatch it for you really quick so you can see it. I mean, look at that. Isn't that insane? It's just, oh, I love it. So um, I am layering this a lot lately with some Benefit Cosmetics What's Up, and I feel like it is the perfect combination. So if you're in the market for a new highlighter, give this one a try, the Balm Cosmetics Mary Luminizer. Okay, so product number two is skincare, and this one, I don't think I've talked about this in any of my videos yet, but I did do a roundup on my blog a couple weeks ago, and it was my morning skincare routine, and I feel like a lot of you guys loved that, and I definitely wanna do a skincare, skincare routine video for you guys soon. However, in the meantime, I wanna talk about this right here. It is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff. I have been in the market for a good eye cream for basically my entire life because I've always had dark under eye circles. This cream, and this is what it looks like, I love it because it truly brightens. It When you put it on, it, it's got like, it's not bleaching agents I'm sure, but that's what it reminds me of because it's so brightening that you, you tap it under your eye and immediately you feel like, oh my gosh, I look like I got at least an hour more sleep and I look so much more refreshed. So that's why I really, really love this eye cream. I've been layering it with my other uh, face products, which I use a ton. I'm so into skincare. But this eye cream is definitely my favorite for morning. I don't use it at nighttime, only in the morning. So there you go. Okay, so for my third product, it is a hair product, and it is my curling wand. I love this guy. I want to say it is a 25 millimeter. I threw away the box so long ago that I actually don't know the exact size. Um, but that's how I've been getting the hairstyle that I've been wearing a lot lately. I haven't done a hair tutorial for you guys in a long time, so if you want to see how I've been getting this look right here, which is kind of like a lazy girl's wave, or lazy girl curl, lazy girl curl, that is a tongue twister. Um, but if you want to see how I got or I get this look all the time, make sure that you leave me a comment below and let me know that you want to see this tutorial. Anyways, this is the curling wand I've been using. It is by Numi, and um, the code on it, the model number is HB313. Again, I believe it's the 25 millimeter. Um, I tried to look it up on the internet, and that's what it's telling me it is. So there you go. I love it. And um, there is no heat control. It's either on or off, and this baby gets hot. So if you're in the market to get um, kind of like these lazy wave curls like I have going on, look for 25 millimeter. All right, product number four I am obsessed with. Literally obsessed. I am an eyelash fiend, duh. I mean, I wear eyelashes all the time. But these lashes from Huda Beauty are the Samantha number no. sevens. And I, I feel like a lot of people sh possibly shy away from them because they are on the pricier side. I want to say they were $18 at Sephora. Um, before you freak out, I have worn this particular pair at least five times, and they are still in excellent condition. Um, you can care for your lashes that are more expensive very easily with some rubbing alcohol and get tons of life out of them. The quality of these lashes cannot be touched. I have worn every lash line that I can think of, Coco, um, you know, House of Lashes, Ardell, like, I, I can't even think of all of them right now, but by far, these are the best that I've ever worn. They do not irritate your eyes. They don't, like, give you all sorts of mess when you're trying to put them on, like, and, you know, you know what I mean, like, when you get a bad lash and, like, it just will not form to your 
to your lash line, these don't do that. These are amazing. I highly recommend them and I love using them with my House of Lashes glue. It's the um, white bottle with the pink cap. So give them a try. You will not be sorry. I promise. Okay, next we have the Beauty Blender Solid. Oh, if you follow me on Snapchat, I have shown you guys a couple of times how I like to clean my brushes and it is with this soap. And this is what it looks like. It's literally a solid soap, but now the updated one comes with this little scrubby pad. So what I like to do is I get my brush wet. I wish I had one right here to show you. I get my brush wet and then I swirl it around on the soap. I get it good and lathered and then I take the, the uh, brush and I rub it on this, on the little scrubby. And the same thing with the Beauty Blender. I just rub it. It gets all of the excess um, dirt, grime, makeup, product, whatever it is that's on your brush. I hope it's not full of dirt and grime. That was gross. But it gets everything out of, your, out of your brush, out of your beauty blender, and then you let it dry, and it is, like, new, honestly. This is my favorite way. A lot of people recommend um, baby soap and Dawn dish soap and whatnot. I don't like using those because I feel like my hands get so so wrinkly and dry when I do a whole bunch of brushes and they're in constant water. This kind of helps to prevent that. And honestly, it just gets my brushes squeaky clean and that's what I'm going for. Okay, so next on my list is the new Tartist Contour Palette, which is by Tarte Cosmetics. And it looks like this. And I feel like I've talked about this. I think I talked about this in my foundation routine video just last week. Honestly, first of all, it smells delicious. Um, but I love it. Bottom line, I love it. It, it, I feel like it takes the Anastasia and the Kat Von D one step further because not only does it have your highlight shade and it has the banana shade, has some bronzers, but it has a blush. I love this blush shade. I think it's really beautiful. Um, it's just a soft mauvey pink and the banana shade is fantastic. The, um, highlighter, it's very, very light, very natural, light as in, um, pigmentation not as in the color and I don't know if you can see that it actually looks a lot more pigmented on my finger than if I were to apply it on my nose what I'm saying the highlight it could be better I'm just talking specifically about this one right here this one is fantastic I use it to for traditional highlighting not as in like highlighter highlighter this one it's just assy assy otherwise I rate the other colors and shades an A++ so my next product is actually body care. Is that the right word? Body care? Skin care? It is the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate Smoothing and Beautifying Cream. It is, it's heavenly. It's the Amande, Am Am Amande, 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 Amande. Um, to be 100% honest, until just this moment, I thought it was almond. I never even looked at it. That makes me sound so dumb. It is the most luxurious luxurious lotion in the world. It's so hydrating and so silky smooth. When I'm getting out of the bathtub or the shower and I want to just like lotion up and really pack, you know, keep the hydration, moisturization in my skin, I reach for this. And honestly, the hydration that this provides to your skin cannot be beat. It is by far my favorite body lotion. Okay, so my eighth product is nothing new. I've used it for years. I kind of fell off the bandwagon with it for a while because there's just so many other spitzes out there that I love. But I've recently just relearned, remembered, um, regained my love for this product and it is just the good old MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I have found myself reaching for Fix Plus so much recently and it makes me wonder why the heck did I ever stop using it in the first place? I mean, now, don't get me wrong. I love other mists. I love my Glow Mist from Pixie. I love um, my Evian spray. <laughs> I love my Mixi setting spray. Um, I can't even think of all of them right now. I love them all. But there's something about the good old MAC Fix Plus that just really gets it done for me. Like, for instance, if I am just doing a quick makeup job, like, quick touch up or quick whatever and um, I don't um, want to use a full on beauty blender, I'll just spritz a little bit of this into the end of my beauty blender and apply makeup that way and my makeup sets like that and it looks flawless. So this, this just has so many uses. I'm a chronic spritzer. I find myself misting my face in between 
every step of makeup sometimes. Don't ask me why. I feel like it really helps to lock the makeup in and lock hydration in. And um, I maybe it's in my head, maybe it's not. I feel like it's proven, just saying. But again, I re-established, reclaimed my love and I'm not going back this time. I've used like half a bottle in like a week. Not kidding. Okay, so next up, I have another Snapchat beauty fave of mine. Um, I had seen this, I believe, on Facebook by somebody had posted it, and it is the Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. I have posted this on my Snapchat of me wearing it, and what it is is it's a clay mask, but when you put it on your skin, it, it, it literally has carbonation in it, and it bubbles up, and it, co <laughs> it like foams out. It is the wackiest, craziest feeling, yet it's weirdly enjoy like I weirdly enjoy it and I, I like the sensation of it and um, you let it bubble up for five minutes and then you can either wash it off or you can rub it in and then let it work as a traditional clay mask and leave it on for another five to ten minutes which is what I typically do I love to put this on when I'm sitting in the bathtub and just totally relaxing watching my Netflix but um, I feel like it really leaves your face feeling squeaky clean and super soft so I highly recommend this. I want to say it was like between eight to twelve bucks on Amazon. Um, I believe, yeah, it was. It was in that price range. And honestly, I just really like it. And for the novelty alone, I totally think it's worth it. So give it a try if you're looking for a new clay mask. Okay, so for my tenth and final product, it is the Urban Decay Blush Palette by Gwen Stefani. And if you want to know why I love it so much, look at those colors. I mean, okay, so if you start right here with this pink, this is cherry, and I'm actually currently wearing it on my cheeks. It's a really beautiful, it has a light shimmer to it. It's a bubblegum pink, and it is gorgeous. Next, we've got the sassy stepsister of cherry, and that is easy. Easy is definitely sassy, because look at that. It's got a definite darker color to it. It's really beautiful. Then we have angel and hush, these two right here, which could totally be beautiful, beautiful highlight colors. Lo-fi could double as a low-key bronzer or contour color because of the shade that it is. It's matte and it is really beautiful tan. And then this one right here, OC. I could die for OC and I'm not even exaggerating right now. Just, I know that this is not going to do it justice, but this is like a, a nude tan peach, but it has undertones of pink that are picked up in the light because it has a pearlescent finish. And it is just absolutely stunning. If I was totally bronze, like like vacationing in Hawaii, honestly, I would pop this on my cheeks and I would go. I would need a little concealer. I'm lying. I need a little concealer. But other than that, this is so insanely beautiful that if you're tan already, this would just totally highlight your cheeks and be such a shimmery, gorgeous color. I so highly recommend this palette. I think it's stunning. I think the colors are beautifully pigmented and they're totally, totally totally blendable. So check it out if you haven't already. Um, I believe it's available at Nordstrom right now, um, probably at Sephora as well, but definitely Nordstrom. And the packaging, so amazing. Love it. I love, I love Gwen Stefani. She does everything right. Everything. All right. So that was my 10 favorite products from January. I'm loving each of them. Some of them I've been loving for way longer. Some of them I just discovered this month, but those are the products that I've found myself really, really reaching for this month and just going back to pretty much on a daily basis. All right, guys, let me know in the comments section below if you do want to see an updated tutorial on my everyday hairstyle, because if so, I would love to do a video on that for you guys. And make sure you visit me over on my blog, AngelaLanter.com. Leave me some love, because I love hearing from you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching, and leave any requests for any other videos or tutorials you would like to see from me below. I love y'all so much. Au revoir.